Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously, this hasn't been the easiest briar at all, and uh, not from a lack of effort, not from a lack of execution at times, too, just execution at the wrong times, maybe. You nailed it, Al. Um, it, it, we've really played pretty, pretty well. We've played pretty well. We've had a couple, a couple of our best games uh, against Quebec. We were like, I don't know, 93 as a team, and they were better. Uh, you know, uh, Jean-Michel was 97. Uh, we played against Team Canada, kind of controlled that one, let that one get away on us. Uh, you know, we've, we've actually played really darn good, and the other teams have brought their A game. And that's the field. This is an incredible field. I don't care what you say. Every single game out there, you don't, there was never, you know, the old free space in the bingo card. There was nothing there. And uh, we knew that coming in. And uh, we, we were solid. We just, we, we just down that little bit. The other team just played that a little bit better. You've been on both sides of that equation too, obviously, and uh, uh, you know that what goes around comes around, and I know that's not going to slow you down going no. forward either. Absolutely not. We've got uh, what we got another four more games, I guess, and uh, we're going to try to win every one of those. Love to get a winning record. Uh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't, but it won't be from a lack of trying. I'll tell you, we're going out here because every game that we play means something to somebody else, and uh, you don't want to let anybody down. So you want to go and give it 110 percent, and and we got pride too. We want to do the best we possibly can for Ontario. Just talk about uh, how huge a win that was, especially the way you won it. Uh, you know, massive, um, you know, we've been leaking a bit of oil the last, uh, you know, we're 3-1 and one over the last four games, but it sure didn't feel like that, how we were playing. And, uh, you know, just, despite being down in that game, I actually thought we played a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good effort. And uh, it seems like uh, that was a big improvement and just to be able to pull that one out and not having a guy miss. Um, to, to have a chance, uh, we you know we we made some opportunities there ourselves, and that that felt tremendous. Just making a shot like that, what does it do confidence-wise for your command to draw weight and doing it in a clutch position like that? Yeah, uh, it's a lot of confidence for me personally. Um, I struggled the last few games uh, placing rocks, and and I did in that game in the first couple ends, and um, but uh, made some big clutch ones down the stretch and. Uh, you know the guys. The guys swept that perfectly, and you know that's a half. You know I got to throw it close, but they got to judge it, and they did a tremendous job uh, doing that. We've probably been pretty emotional winning games, but uh, that's uh, that's certainly our upper limit, I think. Oh, uh, those uh, playing those guys, and and uh, you know Jacobs, Gushu, guys like that. That feels like a playoff game, and uh, um, uh, there's probably a bit of pent up frustration. I was having trouble reading the ice, getting the broom in the right spot, and. Um, so that was probably a bit of a release of uh, those frustrations uh, coming through. Big win for you guys, obviously. Get back on the winning side of the things and uh, just get a little more confidence going down the stretch run. Yeah, always good to bounce back after a loss. Uh, you know, it was a tough one last night. So uh, good win for us today. Don't want to get down to three losses, hopefully ever. But, uh, you know, we'll keep, keep her going. So another one tonight. Yeah, what would you like about today, apart from the win? I mean, I, obviously, there seemed to be a little bit better execution out there. Yeah, we were, we were pretty good. We were a little off at times. Sheet was a little tricky, but I like the start. We uh, got off to an early deuce. We were up pretty much the whole, I think we were up the whole game. So, uh, controlled the game and just, you know, played solid. Are you looking standings right now, seeing how things shake down, or is it just a matter of putting on the blinders and going out and doing your own thing? Yeah, no, I'm not looking too much. It's a little unique. I mean, obviously, it's a log jam, and some teams have played two games more than other teams. So it's it's really hard to know kind of where you stand till you know, you'll start to look at that a little more tomorrow. Birthday present for the old man? Yeah, hopefully both both of us play well, but uh, you know, I, I need a win. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Jules, you've done a lot of coaching over the years at big game environments. This must be an amazing thrill ride for you, what you're going through right now. Oh, for sure, especially with these guys. And, and they curl so well all year and so much pressure on them, so it's it's big for them, and it, I'm nervous. <laughs> Clearly this team uh, came out with a vengeance last night and got the big win. What was it like to settle them down again to get them re re refocused for today? Well, I would... Well, that wasn't a problem. The problem was we were we didn't curl very well in the first four games. Yeah. Like, like Brad sort of kept us in. We could have been in a lot of trouble. And I was just waiting for them to get that good game like they had last night. Right. And I, I, I've seen them curl five, six games in a row like this. So, yeah. Are they where they need to be yet? I think so. Yeah. There? yeah I, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to peak. But I didn't want to start that low and then <laughs> peak.